The stage was set for a rematch of the 93 Amos Alonzo Stag Bowl that saw the Raiders subdue the elements and the Rowan Profs on the road to winning their first national title. In 96, there would be no such external obstacle. Rather, the props themselves would present enough of a challenge. The first half of play was a shootout. The seesaw fair included six lead changes, and Rowan held a 24-21 lead at the break. Second and goal from the nine. Evans will go in motion, slot right, Orchard. Rolls left, looks to throw. He fires over the middle, oh, touchdown! That's Brian Quinn, the tight end at Mount Union, up six to three. On the scrimmage, the 42 yard line. And they give it this time to Jai Peterson, who has an opening. 30, 25, 20, 15. One man has a shot at him, and Peterson will score. Orchard back in deep drop, looking deep. Has Nestrick wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. Second down, 12. From the 25 and Borchard back to throw. He looks over the middle and fires over the middle. Nestrick wide open at the 40 yard line and he fumbles the ball heading for the sideline. It is still loose to the 45 and Mount Union has it at the oh, row in 44. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Steve Evans. Back to throw Borchard. He pumps. He looks. He lost a high wobbler down the left side of the end zone. Ray go go on. Touchdown. What a grab. Ray go went up in a crowd. The a lot of nine. This time they're using Peterson who will stop. Stays on his feet and now it's a foot race. Jai Peterson, 50, 45, 30, 35, one man to beat. And he will make the tackle. That is Sean Moore, holding up by three. As Lister back to pass, getting some pressure, cannot afford the sack. And that flag, I've got to believe, is going to be intentional ground. Following the same script written the previous week against the lacrosse, Mount Union would take charge of the second half of play as the offense would erupt for 35 unanswered points. Meanwhile, the Raider defense, which was looking down the barrel of a first half shootout, took the game from shootout to shutout in the second stanza. Orchard under center, he'll roll to the right, looking to throw. He will fire deep down the right side for Rico Golan. Got it! He's out of bounds at the six yard line. Here we go, third and four. At the four, third and goal. Orchard wants quiet. Three receivers near side. Orchard back to throw. Rolls left. Look. Lob in the corner. Evans. Touchdown. Mount Union. Steve Evans. Third and 15. Lister rolls right. Looks downfield. Has a receiver. He has time to get the ball off. And he will be swarmed down at about the 24 yard line. Uh, Orchard looking downfield. Has a receiver. Touchdown. Rayco Gallant, just that quickly they score, 45 yards. Bill Borchard, the junior, Gallant. Wide left, David Trinidad to the right, Shannon Green. Second down nine, back to throw is Lister. Blitz is on, steps away, fires, intercepted by Bernbacher at the 20-yard line. He's to the 25. He will be spun down at the 27-yard line. The senior in there because Eller was missed, picked one off. And they give it inside the block, and it is wide open downfield. Greg Lister dodges one. The favorite stop. Hopefully, he will be tagged from behind. Oh, my heavens, what a lick. Numerous records fell by the wayside during the scoring frenzy as Borchard and company behind near-perfect protection from his hogs up front made long completion seem routine. But in the end, that became mere chatter for the press room. What mattered most was the sense of accomplishment and closure that overwhelmed the Mountain Union coaching staff, players, and fans alike. Players hugged and celebrated their achievement. Coaches wept openly as family members made their way onto the field to share in the moment. Over 2,500 Raider faithful stood and cheered as one when fireworks commemorated the event. Individual moments that would be remembered for a lifetime were being experienced and shared by those in attendance. As the sun set in Salem, not only was the day ending, but the Purple Raiders were ending their journey as they had hoped it would end back in August. 
as national champion.